my top five products from one single brand under $10. Let's do this. Hello, my friends. We're doing Maybelline today. I am so excited because I love Maybelline's products and I love their price point. This is all under $10 and we're going to be talking about my five favorites from Maybelline. But before we do that, I am going to put a timestamp right here so that you can skip ahead if you want to skip over the intro of my video. I'm going to show you what I have on and we're gonna talk a little bit about a couple other things. So if you're not interested in that, I don't blame you, just skip ahead right here to this timestamp. So I have on today a really beautiful blue Jersey knit long sleeve t-shirt. I also really like this shirt because of its neckline with the squared off neckline and the puff sleeve with the band right there. You can pull these up if you want to, you know, while we're still dealing with a little bit of the heat. The shirt is very long, so you could wear it pulled completely down over your rear if you need to, or you can just kind of ruche it like I did up around my belly, which kind of helps hide the belly just a little bit. And then I will share with you my earrings that I have on today. So much fun. I really love that they were a bold statement earring, just a really lightweight resin earring that I'm really in love with. And they just, they went perfect with this shirt and I just really liked them. Also, I have a pretty new watch to me. I've been wearing it for about a week now. It is uh, rose gold and it has the black detailing. Now, last week I did bring you one that was silver and it had a little bit of rhinestones on it. I still have that one, still love it. Think it's so pretty, but this is just a nice change. And then also my rings, my fingernail polish, all of that will be listed and linked below. And speaking of links, I always make sure that I link everything below for you and to make it even easier for you, I will put up a number here on the screen and that number will correspond to whatever product that I'm talking about at the moment. Today, we're only talking about five. So one through five products will be down below with the corresponding number next to it. So just remember the number of the product that you liked. You don't have to remember the color or anything that I showed. You just have to remember the number. Go into the description box, open it up, and next to that number will be that product with its link and any color or anything like that that I have talked about. Okay, that's the introduction. Let's get into it right now and you can see what my top five Maybelline products are. All right, before we get started, I do want to say that most of you are going to expect me to put Maybelline lipsticks in here. And yes, Maybelline lipsticks are like up here on my list of lipsticks. They're like as good as or better than so many high-end luxury lipsticks. So I'm not gonna talk about those today because I'm always talking about those, but let's talk about the lifter glosses. I love these so much. They are pillowy and they feel fantastic on your lips and they are just, they're some of my very favorite glosses I've ever run across. The other thing, I love the little shimmers that they put in some of them. They're just a micro fine shimmer. They're not really like a glitter. There might be teeny tiny bit of glitter in there, but not really. The other thing I love about them is that they last a while on your lips. They're not like a normal gloss that just seems to disappear so quickly. So I have this one in pearl, which I love. And all of these will have a little bit of the shine in them or the glitter in them not glitter it's the shimmer it's not glitter but i do want to tell you that they also have ones that are very much like fenty's gloss bombs and they don't really have any sort of a reflect in them they just have the cream color to them so if you're interested in that they have lots of those this one is moon one of my favorites as well kind of like a pinkish color with a little bit of the reflect in it and then i recently just found this one which i'm so in love with whoops this one so you can see what the color is you don't need to see the barcode all right this one is called crystal i have found recently that i'm in love with gold or peach or any color like that on top of my pink lipsticks because it just makes them just really grab and makes them just look so good and I've been absolutely loving that look just some sort of a pink lipstick or a nude lipstick and then pop a gold on top of it or some sort of a apricot or or peach or something like that they look fantastic so these are probably in my top five favorite glosses of all time. I really love them. Foundation, oh my word. If you haven't tried the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, you really need to. Now I know a lot of the craze right now is the dewy skin. Even though this says it's matte, it's really not matte. It does not make your face look flat when you wear it. It's just 
beautiful. You just have this youthful looking skin that's perfected. This is absolutely 100% a high-end foundation and a little bitty drugstore bottle. And I love this stuff. Now they do have the dewy one also. And I found that in the winter time, if I'm feeling a little bit more dry, if I mix the dewy with the matte and poreless, it's just gorgeous on my skin. It's one of those foundations that I have not heard feedback from too many people that they absolutely couldn't wear it. If you're an oily skinned person, you're going to like it. If you're a dry skinned person, I think you're going to like it. If you really don't like it, if you're super dry and you put it on, I would just say, you know, put a couple drops of a hydrating primer in it, put one drop of an oil in it. You're going to love it. If you want that more glowy finish, same thing with the oil. That's really how they achieve that really glowy look of most of these foundations that lasts a long time and only costs like five dollars and change i think is what i got this particular bottle for so that's just so good and you just can't beat the cost on that maybelline makes some of the best ever mascaras they are so good now i have two here and they're in my top five mascaras of all time probably too that's probably not true probably like top 10 because i really like mascara a lot but the maybelline sky high this is one that so many people love some people don't because it does have a bendy wand like that but i find that that bendy wand actually works in my favor because if my hands shake a little bit then i can still get right down there at that base and pull that wand out and it's not going to like stick me <laughs> if i just get out of control so love this one separates lengthens really gives me a lot of definition to my lashes it really does come off at night beautifully with just water and a little bit of cleanser but it doesn't smudge during the day and it, it doesn't give me raccoon eyes i really like it but it does come in a uh, waterproof formula if you you're interested both of these actually do this one i think actually might be the waterproof formula so this one is the falsies lash lift now while the sky high has the silicone brush with it doesn't have the natural bristles this one from fault the falsies lash lift does have the natural bristles and i really like this one too i love how this one gives volume and actually pairing these two together that's why i chose them today pairing them together for volume and definition and length it works so well well, the other thing that is if I use this waterproof formula in this tube to give that volume, it's also going to keep my lashes curled all day and then go ahead and define them with this one. The two of these together is really good. And yes, I know that's extra, but I think that it just works out so good and I love them both. Now, the Maybelline Master Chromes, these came out such a long time ago, but they are still, they're probably one of the first ones that actually were on that highlight bandwagon just so quickly. This one I think is Molten Ivory or something like that. Anyway, I think it's like 240 or two. I'll make sure I link that below. Otherwise I'm gonna confuse you guys and confuse myself at the same time. This does come in a rose gold and this ivory color and it comes in the regular gold color. And I think it even comes in a little bit deeper of a color. So this is like your high beam, beautiful, gorgeousness ever of a highlight. It's just one of those highlights that it feels buttery soft as you're working with it. You can really just sheer it out like on my finger. It's pretty sheared out right there. So you could just have a glow or if you like that high beam look to it, use it on your eyelids, wherever you want to. It's beautiful. You know what I like actually doing with some of these highlighters is I like lining my lips and then using a little bit of gloss and then dabbing just in the center a little bit of this highlight and then pressing my lips together. It works so good to really give that middle of your lips that pouty look to them. So good. Lastly, but definitely not least, is the Maybelline uh, Color Sensational Lip Liners. These are amazing lip liners. And I really fell in love with this color, which is called Gone Grage. This is my color that I outline my lips with to give a more pouty look and, uh, you know, outside the, the natural lip line, just a little bit there on the bottom. It looks so good. That one's gone grayish. This next one is called Almond Rose. This is my rose color that I wear with so many things. Now, if you wanted to, you could wear Almond Rose with Gone Grayish. You know, this one just as your lipstick color would be so pretty. And then this nude color that I have right here is Beige Babe. This is for all of my gals that loves the very nude look to their lips. Just your basic nude color, the beige color that goes so good with so many 
different um, nude lip looks. And then lastly, I have this one that is called Raw Chocolate. This one I actually have kind of gotten into lately. I've almost been rebelling and doing like the 90s grunge lip lately with the really light inner color with just this, you know, chocolate liner on there. I don't know. I kind of miss that a little bit. I just think it's so pretty. So I've been doing that a little bit. So these are amazing. I love that they are an automatic that you can twist up. And then I believe that they have, yes, they have the sharpener on the other end. So if you're somebody that likes a really crisp sharp line, you can do that as well. So for the price on these, these are amazing and they are really beautiful liner. It doesn't tug on your lips. It's kind of creamy, just so you know that. So it's not a really dry formula like some formulas can be. So these can easily go for the lip liner or the lip color, either one. They're just so pretty. So that's my top five picks from Maybelline. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these in rapid fire because this is going to be a new series on my channel where I just go from brand to brand to brand and I pick out the top five of that brand that I absolutely love. And I think this is going to work out so good because there are so many beautiful drugstore brands out there and I love shopping drugstores. So I think you're going to love this. I might occasionally throw in maybe some rare beauty or something like that. That is LYS, that kind of thing something that's a little bit more affordable so that you guys can see those as well. Sephora collection, Ulta collection, that kind of thing. Let me know below what you think of that idea. I hope that you did enjoy today's video and we're going to go out today and I'm going to put a video right up here. I did a series a while ago that was called my top 10 under 10 at the drugstore. So I'll pop one of those videos right here. If you want to go take a look at that, you can go see that. Thanks guys so much. Love you to bits and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.